please welcome back. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Don't, Don't forget, forget to wear your mask. mask. Yeah. Make sure you social distance. <laughs> Have a great year. H-U-S-K-I-E-S, Huskies are the best, oh yes, oh yes, Huskies are the best. Hi, this is Mr. Grant, the choir and orchestra teacher here at Reno High School. Hey everyone, it's Sergeant First Class Gillian. I teach the sophomores for military science. Hi Huskies, this is Mrs. Shikaloni. I teach computer science uh, courses here at Reno High School. Hi, I'm Marilyn Johnson, Principal Secretary to Mr. Hackbush. Hi, I am Lieutenant Colonel Sarfolian. Uh, I teach military science here at Reno High School. Hello, my name is John Batcave. I teach chemistry here at Reno High School. Hi, I'm Ms. Pizzi. I teach biology and environmental science. Hey, uh, it's Mr. Shulroy. I teach uh, AP Physics and Chemistry. Hi, my name is Chris McCart. I teach social studies here at Reno High School. Hi, Mr. Miner. You may have seen me around a little bit. Some people had me last year and some will have me again this year. I teach honors chemistry, AP chemistry, and physical science this year. All right, hi everybody, I'm Mr. Jordan. Uh, this year I'm teaching AP Biology, AP Environmental Science, and Instructional Center. Hi, I'm Miss Long. I teach Physical Science and Biology. Hi Huskies, this is Mrs. Costello. I teach Math. I teach Algebra 1, Algebra 2 Honors, and Math 9-5. Hello, Castle here. I teach English. Thank you for having me. Hello, I am Brad McClellan. I teach English to freshmen and sophomores. Hi, I'm Kristen Ryan. I teach English to freshmen and seniors, and I teach Intro to Theater, seventh period. Hi, I'm Mrs. Powers. I teach uh, math, formal geometry, and algebra three, and math 096. Hey, I'm Mr. Oaks. I teach AP US History and R15. I'm also the head boys basketball coach. Go Giants. Hi, I'm Mr. Clark. I teach uh, AP US Government and We the People in R18. I'm Aaron Foster. I teach World History, U.S. History, Freshman Seminar. Hello, I'm Mrs. Callahan. I teach Honors English, Freshman level, and I teach Senior English. Uh, Mr. Keevy, I teach U.S. History and Senior Government. Bonjour! It's Madame Day, a French teacher. I teach all level of French, from French beginner, one, two, to all the way to AP student. Hey, I'm Mr. Carlin. I teach government, U.S. history, and AP human geography. Hi, my name is Jim Pace. I'm a world history teacher, uh, which are sophomores. I also double as the athletic director. Hi, I'm Ms. May. I teach world history, honors world history, U.S. history, and freshman seminar. Hi there, I'm Mr. Coolis. I teach shop and engineering, and I'm also the robotics coach here at Reno High School. My name is Valerie Gillette. I teach art and photography here at Reno. I'm Nicole Bonrito, and I teach art and advanced art. Uh, my name is Craig Lemons. I am a counselor here at Reno High School. Okay, hi, I'm Matt Albrecht. I am a school counselor here at Reno High School. Hi, I'm Amy McMullen. I'm the registrar. I handle all the transcripts and the records for the students. Hi, I'm Sue Rodriguez. I'm one of the counselors. Hi, I'm Teresa Shulroy. I'm one of the counselors here. Hi, I'm Michelle Lewis. I'm one of the counselors here. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm the clinical aide. I'm Holly Wayman at Reno High School. Hi, I'm Paul Goodfellow. I work in the math department, actually the math department chair. Hi, I'm Christy Briggs. I teach English here. I'm also the speech and debate and newspaper teacher. And I'm co-advising leadership with Ms. Ernst and Mr. Naughton this year. Hey, I'm Taylor Ernst. I teach English. I'm the yearbook advisor. And I'm co-advising leadership this year with Ms. Briggs and Mr. Naughton, which I'm super excited for. Good afternoon. My name is Officer Lafayette Webb. I'm with School Police from the Washoe County School District Police Department. I've been at Reno High School 12 years. Hey, it's Coach Avancino. I'm part of the EL department, Spanish the World Languages, and the Physical Education Department, most notably Weights. Hello, I am Mr. Petnary. Um, I just, I'm a new teacher here, and I am teaching English um, for the student population here. Hi guys, this is Principal Hackbush. Uh, we're so excited to see all our students back in the building here soon. Hey Huskies, my name is Mrs. Edwards. I'm the new assistant principal. Um, 
I am so beyond excited to be back at Reno High. You may have recognized me from before a couple of years ago. Hi everybody, Mitch Chubb here, assistant principal at Reno High School. Hi Huskies, I'm Terry Salgado. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Reno High School. Hi guys, it's Krista Kruger here. I'm the Dean of Students at Reno High School. Also in charge of the freshman class. If you guys need anything, let me know. Hi, I'm Barbara Johnson, bookkeeper here at Reno High. Hi, I'm Mr. Mazzo for Special Education. I'll be teaching Foundations Geometry this year along with our study halls, SSTS classes. Hello, Reno High. Um, my name is Mr. Worthen. I'm a math guy. Hi, I am um, formerly Miss Babbitt. Now I'm Mrs. Rooker. Um, I teach math, um, Algebra 1, Algebra 2 Honors, and Trig Pre-Calc. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Naughton. I teach math here and I also do the Leadership and Student Council program. I'm in the back of the cafeteria in the leadership room. That's where you'll find me hiding out. Hi, my name is Tony Nitz. I teach SIP in the Special Education Department. Hi, my name's Elizabeth Costa. I'm a teacher assistant in SIP. Hi, I am Jennifer Gould. I teach Resource English. Okay, I'm Mr. Glenn. I teach Transition English and Math in the Special Ed Department, which is part of Resource. Something fun I did was uh, uh, caddied in the Celebrity Golf Tournament up at uh, Lake Tahoe. Over the summer, I went to see my best friend in Texas and uh, tried some authentic barbecue. During the summer, I went camping and I've been reading. Uh, this summer, I water skied a lot. It was super fun. This summer was a fun summer. I got to move. But I'm really excited to be in a new area and in a new house with my family. Uh, we kind of just laid low like everybody else, hung out with just our family. This summer, I got married, so that was fun. This summer, I uh, got to hang out with the family a whole bunch. Um, took a trip to southern Utah. That was a blast. Hey, listen, it's been a great summer. I can tell you right now, I've been doing lots of preparation for all the students that will be rolling through our school and my class this year. I spent two weeks up in Montana at the Beartooth Highway. I recommend it for everyone. Some exciting things I did this summer. I spent a ton of time up at Lake Tahoe because I absolutely love Lake Tahoe because I didn't get to go on my vacations that were planned, but no one did. That's okay, I just made the best of it. Spent some time in my backyard at the pool, spent a lot of time with my dog and my family, my kids, uh, my husband, and just enjoyed being together. This summer, I spent a lot of time with my family and reading lots of books. Uh, my favorite was Freckled. I'll have to look that one up. I uh, did some stuff with the family. Not too much, not too crazy. Uh, I had to cancel some plans, but I uh, got to spend a lot of family time. My two kids who are in college, uh, we spent a lot of time together, played a lot of board games, watched some TV, did a lot of hiking, uh, some uh, fires in the backyard, you know, doing roasted marshmallows, uh, just a lot of good old fashioned family time. This summer was amazing. Got to go camping probably eight or nine times. So that was the best part of my summer. And of course, returning back to my alma mater. Something fun I did over the summer was I hiked a lot. I spent a lot of time with my dogs and I read a bunch of books actually, so. Something that I was really excited about this summer is I got to spend a lot of time with my uh, new daughter. She's my first daughter too. Um, and so that was exciting watching her learn um, new things and grow as a person. From this summer, I uh, got outside a ton, really enjoyed myself doing that, as well as worked a uh, hard labor job to earn a few extra bucks. Um, for the summer, um, I turned 50, so I can actually apply for my AARP card, which I'm excited for, get a few discounts. This summer, my best friend and I, we woke up at like four in the morning, drove up to Lake Tahoe to watch the sunrise, and it was the best experience I've had in a really long time, especially in the madness of this world. Um, something fun I did this summer, I went camping with some of my immediate family at South Lake Tahoe, super fun, beautiful being outside. I went to the Imbriger Wilderness and did some fly fishing up at Lorraine Lake. Uh, just being home and being able to hang out in the backyard with the dog. I had a wonderful summer in Bodega Bay in San Diego. I did get to Tahoe a fair bit um, and just recently went on a backpacking trip which was really nice to unplug for three days. And 
What I did fun this summer was I pretty much worked all summer. I really didn't do a whole lot of too many fun things. Um, I got to go to the lake one day and that, that's pretty much it. We traveled to northern Idaho to our cabin and we water skied and kayaked and wakeboard and paddle boarded. It was awesome. I went to Yellowstone National Park. I haven't been there in like, oh, 30 years and so I saw bison and elk and mountain goats and I got to see wolves through a telescope at two miles away. That was super cool. Did some wakeboarding, did some tubing and jet skiing, so had a lot of fun. Pretty good. I did a few hiking trips and we went to Blue Lakes and um, Tahoe a few times. I got three chickens and have been raising them and that was really exciting. Was that I got to renovate and move into this amazing shop space here. I went down to the Bay Area to my 90-year-old mother's house and I built her a shed for all of her outdoor needs. Over the summer I did see my son and daughter-in-law. We went up to Oregon, up to Bend, Oregon and got to see them and hang out with all of our dogs and, and just have a good time up there. Lots of walks with the dog. I was able to do lots of outdoor stuff, lots of mountain biking. Uh, in the spring and summer, so that was great. Watch Community, check it out on Netflix. My wife, Mrs. Shulroy, who's a counselor, and I went on a backpacking trip for four days. That was great. I uh, had a great summer hanging out with my son, Owen. Let's see, what did I do this summer? I built a retaining wall in my backyard. Lots of backbreaking work. It was great. Went camping a lot and saw a lot of family and friends um, in different ways, and I just had a really good time. Didn't travel very far. Uh, it's just the way it went, so. My big coup over the summer was hanging out in the yard every day since I didn't do a whole lot. So a lot of hanging out in the yard more than ever. Um, something fun that I did this summer is my niece actually got married in Glacier National Park. So we got to go up there and see that it was beautiful. I went backpacking for the first time in Desolation Wilderness up in Tahoe. It was awesome. Now I think I need to get my own backpack stuff. One good thing this summer, I spent quite a bit of time in Mammoth and the great outdoors and I broke my leg. So there's that. Uh, my summer highlight this year was going to San Diego and just swimming and sunbathing and riding my bike along the boardwalk and playing golf with my friends. Um, my favorite thing over summer was I had a baby, so I hung out with him all summer. His name is Ezra and he's adorable. Um, I moved into my new house over the summer, so I had fun doing that. Uh, this summer I read a bunch of books, did a bunch of camping. Uh, this summer, the coolest thing I did was hike Mount Lassen, Lassen with my family, 10,000 feet in the air, could see for miles and miles and miles, it's incredible. Where I bought a house, uh, did a lot of work on that, but love to get outdoors with my family, spend some time in the Gray Eagle area, hiking, camping, doing stuff like that. I did lots of fun things, hiked around the redwoods. Uh, you know, I love nature and it really speaks to me. Uh, this summer, I climbed to the highest peak in Nevada, Boundary Peak. And what I'm looking forward to is just making connections with kids and getting back and seeing a bunch of kids that I coach in wrestling. Lots of hiking and a lot of horseback riding. I took care of my old mare all summer. She's getting up there and uh, she needed a lot of attention. Uh, this summer I did a lot of kayaking. Uh, I got back from a place called Cherry Creek. Spent a bunch of time kayaking on the truck with my kids. All summer, I spent most of my summer in Lake Tahoe. I have a small little cabin up there. I golf more than I ever have. Uh, went boating a little bit, mountain biking once, and uh, just basically just try just try to stay not injured. Whitewater rafting. Really working with the kids. I'm looking forward to seeing all the kids that I haven't seen in five months the school year and hopefully some normalcy. Looking forward to this year getting back to normal. But I am really excited to be back. I'm really excited to teach again and really excited to see what creative challenges and exciting times we are going to live through in this next couple of months. Most excited about um, seeing all the kids and um, really kind of trying new things with technology and uh, just kind of learning um, learning lots. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing students again. This has probably been the longest time I've ever been in my adult life without working with kids, so excited to see the little rascals back. So guys, I'm waiting and anxious for students to roll back into my classroom. Can't wait to start the new school year. Need to see all the kids back in school and everything to get back to normal soon. 
can't wait to see everyone back in the building. Um, love seeing all the teachers, all the students, and um, looking forward to uh, a good school year. Having students back in the building and seeing everybody, and my son graduating from high school. We're really looking forward to seeing you guys uh, this year. That's uh, one of the things I've missed over the last few months, uh, being back in the building with the staff, but uh, really looking forward to seeing you students. I am so beyond excited to be back at Reno High. Uh, looking forward to all the Huskies being back at Booth and Foster. Really looking forward to meeting all my students um, and just seeing how everyone interacts with each other. That's one of the things I like most about teaching. Interacting with students, getting back to social interaction, and uh, seeing how we can navigate this, uh, this new era we're living in. The biggest thing that I'm excited for is seeing the faculty and more importantly the students and um, a new school year. I'm really looking forward to working with my colleagues to develop some new and fun engaging lessons that are going to be brand new for all of you. So thank you. It's getting to know kids better since we'll have fewer of you in the room and more time with you. And looking forward to some smaller class sizes this year in terms of uh, kids. Forward to seeing all of you come back in the, in the fall. So looking forward to seeing kids. And I am also looking forward to having students back in the building and reconnecting with my kids. We miss them. I am looking forward to having students back in the building and seeing all the staff and, and we're hopeful for a good positive school year. Meeting the new freshmen and then the three years after that watching them mature and then graduate as seniors. Look forward to getting to know the students and staff and the people of Reno High. Really looking forward to seeing all of uh, my students and meeting my new students this upcoming year. And this school year I'm really excited to meet all my new students and um, see their artwork. Here is seeing my students again and putting this amazing shop space to good use. Getting to see all of you again this year, especially my kids that I had last year and how you've grown. I'm looking forward to this year, getting back in the classroom. Uh, seeing the eyes of students again, not necessarily the mouths, but definitely the eyes. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone and to be able to see new faces as well. Just making connections with kids and getting back and seeing a bunch of kids that I coach in wrestling. I am just so happy that I get to see my students again. I'm looking forward to see how all our Huskies handle this strange and crazy time. We're living in a historical period, which is cool as a history teacher. It's not very fun, but I know we can do it, and I look forward to see how we handle it. I'm really looking forward to just getting back into the groove of teaching again and having students and, and, and some normalcy in this, in this much different time. Uh, I started with my mask. I'm going to finish with my mask. Keep your mask on. Let's go Huskies. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the actual students in person again this school year. And I'm looking forward to getting to know all of the students and seeing what this year brings. Who is um, hopefully performing our Spamalot musical in the spring. And I'm looking forward to human interaction, specifically with kids, because they keep me young. And I'm very much looking forward to safely getting rid of our masks and having everyone back on campus. I'm just looking forward to seeing everybody in person. And then the thing that I am lo most looking forward to this school year is actually seeing students and being back in the classroom. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys. Last spring sucked, so I'm looking forward to getting back live and in person in front of you guys. See, having small class sizes and uh, seeing all, all these, uh, these eager faces once again. So uh, looking forward to science this year it's, and chemistry this year. It's gonna be, gonna be a good year. Looking forward to smaller class sizes. It's gonna be a great year. Winning my bet in terms of when we're actually gonna close the schools. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone back at school. Um, and I'm really looking forward to having everyone back and, and staying positive and getting through this. It's just seeing, uh, seeing your faces and hopefully being able to work with you more one-on-one. -on -one. To everyone being back in the building, I miss all of you. But I am looking forward to seeing each and every one of you back here at Reno High School. Gosh, anything could happen. I love a challenge and goodness me, this could very well be it.